Hi again from Imagine Flow. This time we are doing the wine glass holder and we're going to put together the wine glass holder and hopefully get it all together and make it look pretty. The first thing we've got is on the left hand side here we've got the acetate. You probably see it just flicking in the light there. Then we've got the three base pieces that are the solid base, the pieces that go around the side that are the solid pieces and then we've got the three pieces that have got the windows in that the acetate will go on and those are the under pieces as well. Then we've got a patterned piece of cardstock. Now I have chosen this cardstock because the pattern on the bottom all matches and in the size we've done I could get that out of one piece of paper and the flowers on the bottom all match up. Now in the top right of the camera you will see the pieces that form the side of the lid and the base. You will also see the two insert pieces that we've got that hold the glass. Now you can use either one of these pieces. If you've got a larger glass you'll need the larger hole. If you've got a smaller glass you can use the one with the smaller hole. You can use both of them if you like. Now we've also got another little piece um, we've got three pieces here, that's the lid, the piece to the top and bottom of the box and of course the piece that goes on the top to make it look pretty. The other thing that I have done with this is because I've cut this out of one piece of cardstock and I want it to look like that, I have numbered the back of these pieces so that I don't get them mixed up just with a piece of pencil and you may be able to see that, you may not. Okay. We're first going to put the base piece together so that we can have the um, sides of it, sides of the box all done and then we'll make the top and bottom pieces. After we've done the sides we can add the pretty pieces that go on the outside. Okay. Is I'm going to put the tape on here. Yeah, today we're using double sided tape. So I'm going to run it all the way down here. For the sides of this box. And this is just to show you you can put this together with double sided tape. Now, burnish. if you burnish your tape down, you'll find you get a bit of stick with it. And if you take just one end, and lift the end and bring it forward and then put your next piece on making sure you get the right piece. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes it's quite difficult to figure out the right piece. Now if you bring that little piece that you've lifted forward to the front of the card to the front piece, to the left hand side piece. Oh, you've managed to get it underneath. All right. There we go. The old fashioned one. Do it together. Right, and if you burnish your joins, you will find that they stick well together. Now you continue doing this with all the different pieces, and we'll come back once it's all done. Now once we've got the three pieces of the side that are solid, uh, plain solid, together, solid we're going to add the pieces with the windows. Now, just while you're doing this, just check each time you're putting it together that you've got the uh, base pieces at the base and the top pieces at the top. I say this because there's a number of times that you get a little bit tired and you manage to put them around the wrong way. And then, <laughs> then you uh, think, ah, I've got that wrong and have to take it all apart again. Now you can see this time that Madge has brought that tape out to the front and this will make it very easy to just hold that 
rip the tape and it's all in place. Now that may take you a little bit to, of getting used to, but it does actually make it very easy to put your double sided tape in and join the pieces. How's the acetate go? Um, this side or it, the other the side? The acetate's going to go on the front, so that makes it easier to put the panels over the top. And so now you have to put, if you're going to put your acetate on with thin double sided tape, you need your thin double sided tape either around the acetate or around the little windows. And it's probably easier to put your double sided tape around the windows. The reason it's easier to put it around the windows is that you can actually see it then, whereas with the acetate it's quite hard to see the edges of the acetate. So we'll come back when Madge has put the acetate around the windows. Now you don't actually have to follow the little uh, pieces of the windows that go in and out. You can just do the sides and do a straight piece across the top to make it easier. Concentration. Constipation. Oh, are you still? <laughs> right, Madge is just on the last panel now. and. Now we're going to, well Madge is going to take the tape off, which you may be able to see, she's just put two little short bits at the ends and the long bits at the side, and then she's going to place the acetate over the top of where she's got that. And because the acetate is clear, you take a little bit of time to make sure that you've actually got it in the right place. There you go. And you can burnish that on the inside. Now we're going to put the panels on the outside. And so we'll get the panels ready and place the panels on the outside. And remembering I numbered the panels. So that's number one. So number one is going to go on the probably the second one in. Now you can see that we've just placed the panels on the outside and there is a little bit of white space around the panels so we're now going to glue the panels with our double sided tape onto the outside and we'll go and do that while we're off camera. Right now we've got all the panels stuck on if you'd like to turn that sideways you can see how Pretty that looks with all the panels, You're just off camera there, so I'll have to move over. Right, now you can see how pretty all those panels look like that. And now we're going to put the uh, panels together and turn that into a nice little cylinder. And we're going to make the lid, so we'll just go now and we will make the lid. Now we're just going to use the two pieces that join together to form the outside of the piece that forms the lid in the base. And you'll see that one piece has two tabs on it and the other piece has no tabs on it. You need to come further forward. No, further. Put your hands further over there. Oh, sorry. So that I can see. Right. You'll see that one piece has two tabs on it and one piece has no tabs on it. And these join together to make the hexagon that goes around the bottom. Right, now I'm just going to take this off Madge a minute and show you that we've put the outside piece on the top here. Now in order to keep this nicely sized, we're going to turn it up the other way and we're going to put our piece that's here in the bottom on the inside. We're not going to glue it yet, but we're just going to place it on the inside and pop it down and that will keep 
the shape nice while we glue the bottom outside piece into place. Now you can put your tape or your glue round the pieces at the it's actually at the bottom to glue your other piece on. Do you want to pick up the piece to show them there? And that's going to glue or tape onto the bottom there. So that will be a nice neat outside. Hold now, on, hold on, get the glue working first. So we're just going to use glue for the bottom. It does make it stronger than the tape, but it also probably makes it slightly easier. Now we're going to glue the inside ones and turn it up the other way so that they will be in the glued to the inside piece that we put on the inside to keep the shape. And then we'll be able to glue the other pieces and put the outside piece on. And you can just see us doing that here. Now we're going to glue the inside of the bottom tabs and then we'll actually glue the outside of the bottom tabs and put the base on. See Madge is pressing that down nice and firmly so that the glue sticks. And now she'll be able to glue the bottom and place the hexagon on the bottom. And that will take the hexagon nicely. And you can just glue all over the hexagon and round the edges. I was just making sure I hit it on the right side. Yeah. <laughs> If you've got double-sided cardstock, it pays to have the right side. If you've got the same colour on both sides, it's not too bad. And if you've got one like this, that's textured. And you'll find that this lines up really well because of the fact that you've already got that liner on the inside. a very pretty box at the moment. Now you can see that we've done the outside piece for the top of the box and if we place our liner on the inside of the box that keeps our shape nice for us to glue and put on the outside piece and we can glue and put on the outside piece there and then we can just add our other little piece that goes on the top and again, that has a little bit of white space around it. And we'll go off camera and, and put all that together and come back and show you the little insert piece. Right, now we're going to put our glass in. We've finished the lid. As you can see, it's just sitting there on the side. Now we've uh, borrowed a glass that we're going to put inside here. And what you do is you put the base piece around the glass now I think it would be really nice if you were doing this if you had a base piece that the um, was in the patterned paper. So now we're going to put that piece around the glass and inside the box. And that's going to. This is where you need an extra pair of hands and push your glass right down on the bottom. Let's see if we can see it through the side. Whoop. There we go. And you can see that that's going to go down in there. And it does look very pretty in there. And you'll see that 
whoops, we've got right now you will be able to see now hopefully that the glass is inside and if I zoom back a bit you will see that the pattern around the bottom of the box looks very pretty. We were discussing what we could put in this if you didn't want to put a glass in it and we decided that it would look really lovely filled with chocolates. You could put a toy in it. If you chose a pattern paper that was a child's one, you could put any child's toy in it. So there's quite a lot of uses for this box and it's a very pretty one and it does go together in a reasonably short length of time once you get the hang of it. Thank you for watching.